Hey, it's me, Justin. And today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to tie this little squirmy, wormy with a sack fly. I'm going to be tying my variation on the squirmy wormy today. And this one here is just tied up with dubbing and a squirmy wormy. And it's kind of done like a little caddis body. I don't protrude it out both sides. I only go out the front side on it. Because it kind of looks like it's was living inside the little thing and then it kind of came out you know kind of like the peeping caddis kind of thing where it's just protruding out one end of it like it's coming out and basic materials you're going to need today for this is you're going to need a size 16 hook preferably one with a little bit heavier wire these still are not near as heavy as what i would like but they work good enough uh squirmy wormy material of course and then wherever I put that there it is and a super cheap dubbing card because the same fly the little caddis part at the back of it can be made in different colors to mimic different things you know light browns to mimic more of like a kind of dirt that it's kind of coming out of or whatever or you can do green like it's attached to a piece of moss kind of thing you know quite a few different variations upon this just what makes my squirmy wormy different than a majority of the others is I'm not using any uh, beads of any kind on it I'm just using a little bit of lead wire underneath the dubbing and I'll show you here in just a second on how it all works out so to start this operation out I'm going to go ahead and place a size 16 hook in the vise. I'm going to start by building a thread body going down, or I should say not a thread body, but just a, uh, a nice little patch of thread to set the lead down onto. You should go back to about there. And then we'll... Oh, I forgot to mention that point, point zero two five lead wire is what I use. And where I usually start this is I'll put one piece on this side of the hook and I'll make wraps going back this way. And I'll stop one piece of lead there, right at the front of the, the point on the hook. And then I bring the thread back to the front rehook back into it here and I'll run another piece down the opposite side of the hook and going back a little further right about there and then twist it off so that there helps me build my shape that I'm looking for for my my body and to start the whole operation out with uh, the squirmy part is I just choose a, a decent length that looks okay to me I don't try to put a giant piece of squirm up on there I just kind of place a little bit around there nice and easy touching kind of wraps on this first portion you don't want to pull too much tension cut right through that rubber and I just bring it right to the back and oh, Take it off just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my dubbing card. Get a little bit of dubbing out of this. And I want to make the thinnest, tiniest dubbing noodle on my line or my, my thread as possible. That way I can get a really, really nice body shape coming up there towards that uh, squirmy at the front. Just go ahead and get this spun around there a little quick. There we go. Now we're building. And just keep going up nice and slow. Making it a nice uniform shape. That's why I make that's why I put that lead in there two different spots on it. So that way it's just not one giant abrupt end, kind of feathers out a little bit. All the 
always got that going there. I'll just keep locking that to the front. We need just a teeny bit more dubbing there. It's okay if it looks kind of, you know, ratty. The fish like that little fuzzy look to it like that. Makes it look more realistic and alive. Just a couple little whip finishes here. Oh, ow. Slammed into the other vise I have there. And that's it. A little squirmy wormy. Just like that. If I had the other one, I'd here next to me, I put it right next to it. To show you. That's both of them. One next to the other. And pretty easy to tie on. You just pull one piece back and get to the, the hole and get it going there. Well, thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. Uh, check out some of the other videos. Over 200 of them up there. Thank you.